Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope that you are having a beautiful and an amazing day. This is a timeless collective reading for Scorpio. <laughs> Scorpio, welcome. If you are new, welcome back if you are returning. So this is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Scorpio. You can have Scorpio anywhere in your chart. Okay, yeah. So, you have somebody out here who is very much mentally strong this person is very knowledgeable with the hierophant they could be very organized this person could be traditional at some point they could have been conforming to some type of system structure tradition like somebody now is becoming inspired though to go out and just be happy King of Swords and the Hierophant. Yeah, this is a person. This could definitely be somebody who was married. Okay. The Wheel of Fortune. Yeah. <laughs> somebody is turning a new leaf. Six of Cups. Or stuff like somebody is reminiscing. Like, on a time when they were joyful, they were innocent, they were free, they were playful, um, they were just traveling and having a good time. I'm just hearing somebody, I'm getting back to me. Who Who is that now I'm hearing? I'm, I just heard Brandy. Back to me. What is, I don't know how that song goes. I don't even know if that's a song or if it was just like the intro to a song, but I'm hearing back to me. Somebody is getting back to themselves. Six of Cups, Six of Swords. Somebody could have gone back to their hometown, reconnected with someone, but somebody is not choosing to be stuck in something from the past. This is a person who's getting clarity about a situation from the past or their childhood. Somebody is remembering the good, the, the good things from their past. And they're realizing that, wow, I've gotten too far away from things that brought about positivity and excitement and happy times and so now somebody is true is choosing to like travel more or you know to connect with old friends or family if that's what they want to do or someone is just finally accepting that they don't want to connect with old friends and family because they're on to a new path yeah the nine of pentacles this is you know obviously <laughs> Somebody living a very comfortable life. This is somebody who they're going towards or they already have financial security, abundance. They can provide for themselves like they've achieved a lot. So somebody is definitely just getting back out there. Somebody is just like, yeah, I know where I came from. And either I'm, they know that they're not going back to where they came from or... <laughs> It's something like there was somebody, there, there's a huge epiphany or revelation that somebody has had about how their lifestyle and mindset are connected or there's some kind of disconnect here. The Eight of Wands. So you have the Eight of Wands out here and the Six of Swords. Somebody is traveling. Sorry, one second. I'm trying to see this. Um, I keep hearing it back to me. I don't know if there's a song. Eight of Wands. Back. I just keep hearing it though. Back to me. I'm also hearing, I think Brandy has a song called Full Moon or even an album. Something about um, 
getting to know somebody. Somebody is just ready to meet somebody new. I, I'm just going to say that. Let's go. Look, I just said it. Two of Cups. <laughs> Page of Wands and Two of Cups. Somebody is excited to either meet somebody new or to finally give somebody a shot. Somebody is getting back to themselves. They're free. They're like the divorce is final. I'm not married. I'm not worried about my friends, my family of the past. Like whatever has happened has happened. Somebody now is just like, cool. Like, let's just be happy. Um, let me be creative. Let me just go out and, and just find peace and happiness. Even if, whether it's them being not a pinnacle, single and alone or with somebody else. But I feel like somebody has been single. It feels like somebody has been working on themselves after some type of situation has perhaps ended. And now somebody is finally getting to the point. Yeah, the lovers. Wow. The Hierophant and the lovers. This could even be like a, a bachelor's party, bachelorette party. Like somebody could just be out celebrating having a good time but th there's an energy where somebody probably knows yeah the nine of cups somebody knows who they're taking their cup of love to they already know <laughs> the four of cups and the six of cups somebody is discontent they've already reflected over the past and they know i don't want the past i don't want it it's cool it didn't work out it taught me what i needed to know but somebody now is just like the four of cups is not seeing an opportunity because of being stuck on the past. Somebody finally is just like, yeah, it's 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 better. It's something better out here for me. What is this? What did he say? Yeah. It seems like somebody is just breaking out, and and somebody could have went out, or they're going out, or traveling alone, or somebody has gone out like on a date, and they're like, yo, this is nice, you know. I really enjoy being out with that person or I really enjoy getting dressed and having a good time. So, there's something that is happening that is making somebody completely accept some type of ending of a job, a friendship or relationship. And this just happened. Like somebody's just like, yeah, I'm, I'm cool on that. Like I don't need it. The devil. <laughs> yeah, this is moving away from something. This is somebody, the, the old ball and chain. Somebody's like, I don't care about it no more. Like, I, being in that marriage, being in that commitment, being at that job, you know, or whatever. Somebody's like, I'm, I'm so glad I got away from that. <laughs> the tower. I mean, somebody's like, it's lonely at the top. But I'd rather be up here than down there. The tower. And then somebody also has gotten to a certain place with their own um joy like this 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 overall peace is bringing like this vitality to a person where it's like now somebody the tower this is tearing something down and rebuilding and this came about suddenly and for somebody here there's about to be a sudden change in your luck, in your blessings, and in your security and stability. So if you're not making space for it, you need to. There's a situation, though, that has been in a person's life. It's been, like, slowly crumbling or deteriorating. I feel like something is just about to be shattered. Yeah, the world. It's like some kind of cycle is finally just over. It's the, it's the, the, for somebody here, you're in the final stages of like your, 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 um, which is acceptance, like the, the five stages of grief. Like somebody is finally at a place of acceptance where they're like, you know what? Something just didn't work out and I'm good. Six of wands. Somebody's like, that didn't work out and it made space for something better. And and they're they're accepting it. I mean, like wholeheartedly. Five of Cups, yeah. I just oh wow, this oh my god. <laughs> you saw me shuffle. 
I had no way of knowing this. The five, I literally just said the five stages of grief. It says the five of cups and the first word you see on this card is grief. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, somebody is coming out of this disappointment. Some type of trauma, sadness, regret, or whatever. And somebody's just like, let me just focus on what I do have. Temperance. Wow, you ha oh wow. So sweet. You have the Hierophant, the Lovers, and the Temperance card. Mm. There's been conflict here in some type of connection. I'm picking up a lot of different situations. There also could be someone out here who has been afraid of commitment, feeling like if they commit to somebody, they're going to have to conform to some type of lifestyle. I feel like somebody is realizing now that they can absolutely be an individual, be in love, and find a middle ground with the person where they can actually be happy and compromise. Somebody is realizing that a relationship is not a death sentence. They're no longer dealing with karmic energies that, like I said, it's a ball and chain. This isn't that type of situation and if someone has been dealing with someone and afraid to commit because they are afraid they're going to get trapped in the situation somebody now they're letting go of there they're just like no it's it's fine because they're realizing that there's a situation here it doesn't it doesn't present chaos conflict or or jealousy and therefore they're like so why am i afraid of it the nine of wands somebody has been very standoffish very guarded, very protected for a long time. But the Nine of Wands, like I said, is the Nine of Wands, the Nine of Pentacles at the Tower. It's like somebody is finally, or the Five of Cups, in the final stages of grieving, in the final stages of still holding on to this defensive energy of like, hey, you know, I need to keep everybody away from me. Somebody is coming out of isolation. <clears throat> The nine of ones and then you have the seven of pentacles. Yeah, somebody has been very uncertain for a long time about if it was safe for them to become the king of cups. Is it safe for them to open up emotionally? Is it safe for them to even allow someone to be emotional with them? This is the kind of energy and I'm picking up a strong masculine who this person has has chosen to be very logical for a long time the temperance energy also like sagittarius this is um fire and water somebody has been ignoring how they feel about a situation and going in a totally different direction either somebody has been ignoring the fact that something is over and they keep on trying something like beating a dead horse or somebody has been holding back from a situation that they know they are very passionate about because of a fear of them investing in something that could possibly turn into a failed relationship or connection similar to something that they had of like in the past maybe yeah the four of pentacles somebody has just been completely closed off emotionally but now somebody is one somebody is realizing that being emotionally closed off it is not serving them at all eight of cups somebody wants to leave this type of energy behind and now what they actually want is to have equal give and take the six of pentacles because they're realizing now that their past how they see the past or a past person, they're bringing it into another connection that could possibly lead them to missing an opportunity because they're being so cold and detached. Somebody is being cold and detached, or you know how we say, somebody is making a new person pay for the mistakes of a past person and they're realizing this really isn't fair. Somebody's like, I really need to just chill out and enjoy myself or enjoy this connection of this person. Somebody is finally getting a grip though. Yeah, seven of wands here and the ace of wands. <clears throat> this is somebody having the, the the courage now with the seven of wands to stand up for themselves and fight through whatever these challenges are that's coming from this devil energy. Whatever this toxic mindset, bad habits, or their fears around 
some people may have a fear around being alone and some people have a fear around being with someone somebody now is choosing to put up the fight because they do see a passion new beginning coming ace of wands and they know the two of swords that they can't just keep standing at a crossroads like decision time is here yep the ace of swords it's t it's time to make a decision And who's making this? Whoa. Let me show y'all what this is. You have the two of swords here. The emperor and the freaking empress together. Oh, this is a big deal. And the strength card is in the reverse. Somebody has been stuck in fear, doubt, insecurity, and lacking courage. To go towards a divine partnership for a long time. You have the Empress, the Emperor here, the Two of Swords. Oh, I'm so sorry. I said the strength. I said the strength card in the reverse because I saw. <laughs> I thought this was a lion. This is actually the Knight of Wands in the reverse. I'm sorry. It's very similar energy, though. The Knight of Wands in the reverse is still a person who is being irrational. The Knight of Wands is somebody who is lacking some kind of passion. They're not really embodying that passionate energy of a Knight of Wands upright. Like, this person could be stuck in their ego dealing with fear. Um, they're not making any type of strides. So somebody here has been stuck. Is this emperor and empress? Is this some? Is this the divine feminine and masculine? Or somebody's parents who's had them stuck because of some kind of tradition or um, outdated beliefs here. For some reason, I normally don't get the empress and emperor being parents, but it does feel like there is some kind of outdated belief. Where somebody is just like, you know, where two people, they're supposed to be married or, you know, you have to marry and you can't divorce or somebody has been taught that connections are supposed to be a certain way. And maybe what they've been taught, they're realizing like they're not having any success with this type of mindset. Yeah. And, and they, they, they're going to have to walk away from this mindset that they have. And somebody is realizing that now that they're not operating in this same frequency and holding on to these mindsets or whatever, <clears throat> excuse me, that allowing their heart to be open for them to be more carefree is actually bringing them the three of wands, something that they've been trying to manifest. This is so interesting because I've had there's in the readings, the last few that I've done, I'm picking up two very um, specific masculine, like we're going to say archetypes. I'm picking up on. And I've been picking up fire signs, heavy like Sagittarius, Aries energy. I'm picking up one masculine energy that is. Awakening, like realizing that how they've been taught, how they've been thinking, how they've been manifesting, or I should say their lack of manifestation, it's due to some kind of self-limiting beliefs. This is the kind of person who thought that they would put their conservative, controlling, somewhat toxic beliefs or ways onto somebody else, but they were actually hit. With the queen of swords who broke something down to them and explained, no. Your way of thinking, although it's logical, it's not practical. And I'm not conforming to it. And any person who, who has any good sense wouldn't conform to it either. And it has this person like, you know, maybe I need to change. And then there's a group of masculines that I've been picking up on who are just completely spineless. They're in so deep with these toxic families or their traditions or these conservative lifestyles or, or whatever. They're just not ready to make changes. 
I'm this is a mask on right now though who is realizing that by being a bit more flexible and open minded and working on healing and opening their heart chakra and just really freeing themselves from the past that it's bringing in opportunities and like joy and happiness and excitement in their life that they haven't experienced in a in a very long time so you have some masculines right now who they're healing they're awakening they're taking the advice from maybe like a divine feminine they're, they're getting on their spiritual path and then you have some they're still fighting it so <clears throat> you'll have to know for yourself which 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 type of archetype of a masculine this is that you may be dealing with because some people i picked up on the reader some of you you need to leave the ones that are just refusing to change you need to leave them behind but you have some they're changing it will require a bit of patience but you have to for sure give them their kudos for being open willing and flexible the fool yeah somebody here i, I said that before too aries energy somebody is starting their journey they're starting their full journey wow and th they're willing to to listen they're starting to see that wow there's so much more to life somebody is i'm here i'm they're painting the color back into their life they're not so black or that's the king of swords and the hierophant somebody is not so black and white anymore they're like wow okay let me let me see what else is out here. This person is becoming more optimistic about a new beginning. They're willing to take a, a risk, a, a risk, a leap of faith and free themselves from, again, some type of toxic mindset. This person is healing. Like I said, they're healing. So this is good. Now, this is not everyone. Because I did, I've done some readings where some of these masculines, I'm telling you, they're being completely controlled by friends and family and ex-partners and all kinds of stuff. And they're not recovering. They're not, they're not coming out of those situations. They're, they're still just not ready. They don't have the, the passion, the drive, the determination or courage to do it. You know? Oh, you have to pray for that part but yeah the high priest is here somebody here is is healing because the three of wands what they've manifested is a high priestess somebody has manifested a divine counterpart that is opening them up to yeah three of cups opening them up now to like a soul family this person is is somebody is being supported spiritually by a high priestess and that's why there's this fun flirty energy of like like this joy and contentment from different celebrations or collaborations somebody literally is being healed by a high priestess that could be a part if somebody has met a high priestess that's in their soul family So this emperor and empress could very well be a divine feminine and masculine. Like I said, for some, for the ones that are awakening, it's a divine connection. For the people, for the masculines who are not, who are really struggling, this is a masculine being controlled by their mother and father. And they're just stuck. They're stuck not being able to, to make any moves. For some, they could be the same person, you know, but it's, they could change. They may not. I, <laughs> you you have to know what your negotiables and deal breakers are. But you have the Ace of Pentacles and the Sun. Whoever this person is. Oh my goodness. Ace of Pentacles, the Star, and the Sun. Okay. Yeah. Somebody's getting on their path. They're not fighting it anymore. Yeah, this person's saying, I need a bad girl. So somebody's like, yeah, I need... I need my high priestess. I need the one that's the truth. I need the 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 abundant, the feminine, the caring, kind, well respected, cool, calm, collected. I need my high priestess. 
I need the sun, the moon, the stars. Somebody is seeing that with a particular person and they're like, I can't deny it anymore. Ace of Pentacles, someone's security, stability, everything. They're like, I'm getting the guidance that I need from this high priestess because this high priestess is so positive. They're, they're the star. This, this person is literally being guided into happiness and a lot of different successful outcomes. Somebody's life is improving drastically because of this person that they've manifested. Now, they weren't, I don't think that this masculine was completely ready for this high priestess. But I feel like they, they're getting themselves ready now. To yeah, they weren't hangman. They weren't. They, they didn't have the right mindset. But now this person is starting to see this situation as the absolute wish fulfillment for themselves. The hermit. So if this person was kind of shutting down or isolating themselves or... Feeling the, the need to, to separate. It's because they needed to self-reflect. And this person's inner voice is telling them now that, yeah, they've met somebody now that lights up their world, that completes them. This person is learning too not to, to be careful of how they judge others. I feel like this person has experienced, because I see the moon, the five of swords, and the death card. This person has experienced a lot of failure, sadness, and disappointment in relationships because maybe this was a kind of person when they were going out, they were going for a certain type. Very materialistic, you know, or just something very surface level. This person is now ending that cycle in their life. They're ready to change now. Somebody literally is falling in love with somebody that is totally different from them. That is actually that assigned to them as a spiritual guide. Oh my gosh. The two of cups and the four of wands. There you have it. <laughs> you got the two of cups, the four of wands, the king of wands, and the six of wands. <laughs> Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is a masculine who's taking action. It's not everybody's story, but it's a masculine out here that's like, yeah, let me get on my path. I'm ready. This person is, I don't know what it is. The page of Pentacles, this masculine is starting to get some good news. This person, this high priestess could be somebody who is into heavy into some kind of manifestation work. I just feel like because of the excitement that I'm getting, somebody's like, wow, whatever that, whatever that divine feminine high priestess did, it really works. Because this high priestess has done something that is bringing like a major celebration to somebody. The page of pentacles. Like somebody is receiving good news and money matters, new opportunities. Okay. Like they're putting their plans and ideas and goals are coming to life now. They're actually page of wands, like they're receiving good news. They're putting things into action now where there was once restrictions. And they're like, wow. They're not overwhelmed or confused anymore. And this person also is like, they're like, I don't need other options. I have everything. So in other words, somebody has met the one. Okay. <laughs> And somebody now is turning their back on anything that creates competition, conflict. So if this person was the type in the past where they were entertaining a lot of different people. They don't want to explore their options anymore because they're like, well, when I explore my options, there's always differences of opinion. There's conflict. There's chaos. There's competition. Somebody is like, why explore my options when I have wish fulfillment here? Nine of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. Somebody is like, I met the one. They, they, they go, come in contact the high priestess, this queen of cups. They're like, this queen of cups person is caring. They're kind. They're nurturing. They're also the empress. So they're abundant. Somebody here is very connected to Mother Earth. Like somebody can put something out there in the universe. And I'm telling you, it's coming back tenfold every time. I just heard good or bad. This high priestess divine feminine, like the way that they can manifest 
money and the way that they can cover somebody with protection this place this this person that i'm picking up has absolutely been ordained and anointed to be a wife or a husband to somebody this to connect to this person it comes with with a lot of fruits and good fruits and 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 blessings of prosperity somebody's like oh no 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 Somebody is turning their back to anything in the streets. They're like, no, absolutely not. Somebody realized, like, they're like, I hit the jack. When I say I hit the jackpot, they're like, I hit the jackpot. Because I will tell you the thing about the high priestess. The high priestess is modest. You're not fine. I'm not saying no shade or anything to anybody that's going out or whatever, whatever you choose to do. But this is not a worldly person. This person is. In the world, but they're not of this world. Somebody's like, wow. <laughs> this person is motherly. They're abundant. They stay out of the way. You know, the high priestess is, is you know, you can even see here how she's dressed. She's sophisticated. She has a healing type of energy. High priestess is extremely wise, but the high priestess is the type she can do both or he can do both. This is somebody who understands duality. That's what I'm saying. This is like the kind of person like, okay, I can understand your, your good, bad, your evil, and your ugly because to become the high priestess means that you've had quite a life journey yourself. But this, this person has a divine knowing where they can, they can guide this masculine into this this position of authority as an emperor this this masculine is like okay i'm getting power i'm getting strength i'm becoming a leader i'm now being prepared to be a partner for some a parent they're like oh the king of pentacles this person is manifesting things in their life now that has been restricted for a very long time And they could have been a bit afraid at first because in the past they could have actually been with someone who was also very strong-willed, a queen of wands, some very, someone very confident, passionate, sexy, standing in their own power. But this person could have been a magician. This person could have gotten tricked. So this is somebody that's like, you know, I'm not falling for a big butt and a smile again. So this person literally has been juggling the two of pentacles, the seven of swords. Whoa, whoa, whoa now. <laughs> two of pentacles, seven of swords, three of swords, ten of swords. You know what I'm getting to? There could be a masculine out here who has gotten cheated on by somebody who on the surface looked like they had it all. The looks, the money, and everything. They got cheated on this person. This person could have cheated on them. And I feel like this person has learned a lesson. Because I, I did a reading like that a few weeks ago. It's like somebody here thought that if they dated a person or married somebody that looked a certain way, was accepted by their friends and family, and they checked off all the boxes that everything was going to get be perfect, somebody here has gotten completely burned, betrayed, taken advantage of, and practically turned their back on love completely because of the person that they chose. Now, God is like, well, I'm going to bless you with the person that I chose for you, but you have to be willing to accept this person. Who actually is nothing like you. I feel like this masculine is like, okay. They may not have wanted to accept it in the beginning, but I think now they're like, okay. Because they're seeing they're, they're seeing so so much proof. They're, they're getting too many confirmations. Yeah, the chariot. This verse is like, yeah, I'm moving forward. They're, they want to get something in motion. There's a breakthrough happening here that's leading to some kind of victory and success. Somebody could have realized something on a, on a travel trip, a business trip, or somebody may want to take someone on a trip at some point. It's going to be some serious conversations that's going to be coming up very soon. I'm also getting to somebody may travel a lot for work or they're traveling to see their family somebody is realizing every single time that they are away from this particular person they just feel down and out somebody <laughs> ten of swords nine of swords this person's like every single time 
I move away from this person or every time I'm not around this person, I, this person, I can't eat. I can't sleep. I'm worried. I'm, you know, this person, though, is still afraid that, that they're going to be betrayed or hurt, though. But something is being balanced out. The Justice card. The Page of Swords. This person now is trying to explore new ways to communicate because they made the decision that this is most likely like their person. Ace of Cups. This is like the love of their life. They're like, I can't hide it. But now they're trying to figure out, well, how can I communicate? How can I come out of this King of Swords energy of being cold and detached and communicate? Now, for some, this is a past person. But for some of you, this is somebody that you have met or that you will meet. This person is there. They are scorned. People act like men don't have this could be a man who has been hurt by somebody. And they're finally getting out there now and like, OK. They're ready to give love a shot again now. So this is sweet, you know. It looks good. Whoever this is, you know, give them their flowers because they are, they're healing. This is a masculine who is healing. Okay. And they're allowing themselves, they're surrendering. This masculine is working on their heart chakra. Oh, this high priestess is working on this masculine's heart chakra. Oh, okay. This is two people who have manifested each other. I'm seeing it so clearly. There's a divine feminine high priestess. This person is praying for somebody. Praying that this person's heart is healed. And I think I, it may have been in this reading where I talked about the five stages of grief. It's like somebody has very powerful prayers. They're praying like, you know, you know, God really heal this person's heart. Help this person to free themselves of whatever type of toxicity that or this person could just be praying and, and manifesting their their future spouse. And this person comes along. It's like these two people have been praying for a certain energy and they literally have met their match. They've they've met they've met their answer prayer is what I'm I'm saying. This divine feminine is like, you know, asking God, bring me somebody who accepts me for me. Bring me somebody who doesn't have baggage from the past. Bring me somebody who's willing to heal and grow and evolve and get on this journey with me. And boom, this person comes in. They come in a little bit beat up and wounded from a past situation. But the biggest thing here is that they are willing to get on the path. They're willing to let go of outdated beliefs they're they're willing to try and what's also very beautiful is this masculine they see this high priestess they see this person in their glory and they're not here to steal from this high priestess they're here to learn from this high priestess they know and they know that and i'm hearing at the end of the song what's it called Bad girl, well, I was just like, give me one of them, one of them, give me one of them, give me one of them. Like, this person's like, yes, give me the divine feminine, give me the high priestess. I want that now. <laughs> you have it go slow, take time to get to know each other. Yeah, this is a courtship. This is two people who pray for each other and literally are standing in their answer prayer. You don't have to rush this situation because these two people they're teaching one another. There's two people who are letting the past go and they're teaching each other. Oh, you have healing. All wounds and childhood issues need revisiting. Yes, yeah, somebody is still healing. It says different pages. You and this person don't share the same vision. Hmm. I feel like this could be how the situation started or how it may be now. Lean on your inner circle. Yeah, somebody could have definitely had different different views and different visions because of their self-limiting beliefs and regret here. Somebody probably regrets the way that they treated you in the beginning 
or the fact that they didn't take your advice or they didn't really know, but now they're they're becoming a believer. Trust. So it is safe for you to trust in this situation. And it may be a real struggle because we so often hear about the situation where it's like, oh, yeah, a person, they didn't trust you. They turned their back. They betrayed you. They did you so dirty. And then they tried to come back. I don't feel like in this particular reading now that it has gotten to the point of with this masculine and feminine. I, I don't feel like there has been deceit and betrayal. I feel like the blockage here has just been old, unhealed wounding, unhealed wounds. I don't even think the Seven of Swords came out here. This is not somebody who is being just an awful human being. This is just somebody who is not as spiritually awakened and aware because they have not done as much healing work, but they are doing it. They're on the path. Yeah, you and this person, you need to go out, have fun. And that's going to strengthen this relationship. It says, well, yeah, this is a destined partnership. This is a destined partnership that you can trust in. Wow. But there were unhealed wounds blocking forward movement with your twin flame. <laughs> so cute. So sweet. Love it. I'm Actually, let me see. I was about to say I'm going to leave it there, but I'm just going to pull a few of our love cards here. You have inner fears. Somebody was dealing with inner fears, but they've met their mirrored soul now. So it's like somebody is dealing with interference. They've met their twin flame and <laughs> they can't, they probably have tried to run from it or they will try to run from it in the future. But this feels like this is going to be locked in playfulness. It's very important that two people and that I'm channeling right now that you and this person, you enjoy having fun. That's why the six of cups came out because by having fun, it's going to heal those childhood issues that have been affecting you. Somebody here could be dealing with imposter syndrome, a lack of confidence or whatever. It's very important that you and this person, that you allow yourselves to really be very lighthearted, have fun, laugh, joke, play games, stuff like that. It's going to make you and this person really support one another and trust one another and it's not going to be so heavy people make like twin flame connections like oh it has to be so dark and heavy and full of pain and suffering so for me twin flame connections can absolutely be difficult when people are resisting the changes that are necessary for you to heal healing is not fun but the healing journey can absolutely be beautiful and if you can heal with somebody who is not judging you? Yeah, look at this. Magnetic souls, divine union, and new chapter. There you have it. Let's get one more. <laughs> Spiritual awakening. Wow. Somebody, this is a whole twin flame connection out here. <laughs> Mirrored souls and weddings. Somebody is going to marry their twin flame. Yeah, you and this person are more than friends, but it's important that the two of you, you keep it lighthearted and you play because right now both of you are healing. Yeah, don't be afraid to do acts of service with this person. And your act of service could simply be um, praying for this person. Doing something to make their life a little bit easier. They could be doing the same for you. Okay, you praying for this person. Cloud nine. <laughs> you and this person will be on cloud nine with one another. Okay. And I feel like if there is a separation, you don't have to worry about it. The old feelings between you and this person will always resurface. Well, yeah, this is a divine flame. It's going to always feel like the first time with this person. Right now, you should continue to focus on clearing and cleansing your energy but this is your true love for some of you you're you know reconnecting with someone from your past or this person's in your life right now and it's just a matter of time before you guys explore the idea of you having like a very serious committed relationship as more of the healing work is being done oh my goodness look at this it is 11 11 y'all okay 
<laughs> I'm gonna leave it right here. If that's not a good omen, then I don't know what is. Oh my goodness. This was absolutely a twin flame um message of confirmation for somebody. Beautiful. So you and somebody with their different pages, you don't share the same vision. You and somebody have the same destination. You've gotten different directions of like your 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 GPS is navigating you guys differently. Or in the beginning, you were on you were you were going on your journey differently. You and this person are about to meet up and you're gonna walk the rest of your path together. It's very, very beautiful. And I'm not getting any type of like crazy the set I'm sorry, I will I was gonna say the seven of swords wasn't out here. But the seven of swords energy, three of swords energy that I got with the two of pentacles, this person could have juggled you in the past for some of you. Um, or you could have met this person while they were in a connection, coming out of a connection. Okay, or this person could have been juggled by somebody and deceived and betrayed. And they left the situation feeling very cheated. I feel like you and this person both have walked away from situations or even been left behind by people who did you really, really bad. And so now, yes, you and this person, you are each other's answer prayer. Okay. That does not mean that it's going to be perfect <laughs> as soon as you meet this person because you're both healing. But one of you is a bit more awakened than the other. And look, you have her, the empress and the high, with the high priestess. The divine feminine here, whether it's the man or the woman, knows a little bit more about the spiritual journey than the divine masculine. And it's okay because it was meant to be that way so that you can guide this person so that you don't have to worry about them getting off course now that they are on their path. This person, they respect you, so they will listen to you. And they see that there is something very profound and powerful about this connection. And therefore, I don't know, they, they see something. Look at that, the lovers. What it is, too, is somebody is recognizing you from a past life. They just know. There's some, somebody may say to you a lot of times, like, I just feel, like, yeah, the will of fortune. Somebody knows that this is destined. They're like, I know we've been married before. I feel like somebody, even if they are not spiritual at all, they're like, I, I just feel like we've been married before. Like, I've known you before. There's about to be a major shift in this situation. And for some of you, if it's someone from the past, cool. You know, that's your business. 